Canadian C-spine rule is a validated rule that can be used to screen your patients to determine if they require cervical spine imaging. The purpose of this video is to show how easy it is to implement the Canadian C-spine rule in your physiotherapy practice to determine if a patient requires cervical spine x-rays following acute trauma. The importance of taking a thorough history is key. The history must include the patient's age and mechanism of injury. Anne is a 58-year-old female attending the clinic due to acute traumatic neck pain secondary to a motor vehicle accident. Hello Anne, I understand you've injured your neck. When and how did that happen? Well, two days ago I was driving my car and I stopped at a red light. Um, the fellow behind me hit me. He said um, he was slowing down at the time. He was coming to a stop but he played with his radio and reached down to change the station on his radio and took his eyes off the road and hit me. The mechanism of injury is not considered to be a dangerous mechanism according to the C-spine rule. If it fits the criteria for a dangerous mechanism of injury, then an x-ray should be requested. Were the ambulance or police called? Did you go to the hospital? There was no ambulance and I didn't go to the hospital, I just went home and uh, I didn't have any pain but um, I went to bed and then the next day when I woke up there was really a lot of pain in my neck, it was quite severe. Were there any other symptoms? Did you have a headache or numbness or tingling anywhere? I woke up with a headache, it was quite severe and I had pain uh, to my shoulders and to my neck but no tingling. If Anne was reporting paresthesia in any of her limbs, an x-ray should be requested. Anne has three of the low risk factors listed in box two, which now allows you to proceed to test the patient's range of motion. Only one low risk factor is required to proceed. Now Anne, we're going to have a look at your, the movements of your neck. Can you let me know if you have any pain or discomfort with, with any of these movements? Can you turn your head toward the left to look over your shoulder? Oh yeah, stop there, hurt. Okay, and now go to the right as far as you can. Yeah, about there. Okay, and come on back to the midline. Since the patient is able to demonstrate rotation past 45 degrees bilaterally, application of the C-spine rule has determined that an X-ray to rule out significant injury is not necessary, and you can proceed with your physical examination. Bob is a 52-year-old male attending the clinic for acute traumatic neck pain due to a fall from a ladder. Hello Bob, I'll be your physiotherapist today. Can you tell me how you injured your neck? Yes, yesterday I was at the top of my ladder and I was cleaning the gutters and all of a sudden my ladder shifted and I fell off onto the ground onto my right side and had uh, quite a bit of neck pain. Did you go to emergency and did you see your doctor? No. No, I uh, took a couple of Advil and uh, put ice on my neck and tried to make it feel better and it worked a little bit but I still have the sharp pain in my neck. Okay, so what activities are aggravating your pain? Mostly uh, driving over here I noticed shoulder checking was very hard, turning my neck was pretty much impossible so I just had to turn my whole body to kind of check my shoulder. Okay. okay. So that was what was still bothering me. Acute neck pain associated with falling from a height of at least one meter or three feet is considered a dangerous mechanism of injury, which is one of the three high risk factors listed in the C-spine rule. Bob should be advised to return to his doctor to be referred for an x-ray. We hope that you now feel confident to implement the Canadian cervical spine rule in your physiotherapy practice to determine if a patient requires cervical spine x-rays following acute trauma. This video was produced by the Physiotherapy Association of BC as part of a knowledge translation partnership with the Arthritis Research Centre of Canada, Vancouver Coastal Health Research Institute, Providence Health Care Research Institute and UBC Department of Physical Therapy in order to promote best practice amongst BC physiotherapists.